Hello everyone, this is VJ and welcome back to my channel. I am currently in South Korea in the city of Daejeon as an EPIC teacher and today I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about black hair in South Korea. So as you can see, my hair is in braids and I've had these braids for about two weeks now and unfortunately um, having to explain to my students why my hair is so braided that can be a little bit um, embarrassing sometimes like I have some students saying like oh um, so how do you wash your hair or how long are you gonna keep them in listen it took me five hours to do my hair two weeks ago five hours uh, I can't keep these braided for two weeks. It needs to be way longer than that. So um, today I have decided to refresh in my braids. Um, so what I'm going to do, I already started um, refreshing them. And basically to refresh my braids, I'm just gonna like spritz a little water and take out the braids and you know, add some more gel and just kind of vamp it up a little bit, honestly. It isn't looking too bad, but the front was getting a little bit puffy, um, so I just want to uh, fix that up. I'm hoping that these braids will last me another two weeks. Um, and I'm going to be getting those questions in, but I mean, what, like, they're gonna have to deal with it. Like, I, this takes work, so they're gonna see these braids for two more weeks. I'm a, they gonna see them break. Okay, so let's begin. So what do I have? I have my Eco Styler Gel, and I have my spritz bottle. Um, actually, as you can see, this used to be room spray, um, but I finished the room spray, I cleaned out the bottle, washed it with soap, shake, 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 so it should be clean. Hopefully I'm not spraying room spray in my hair, but yeah. So I finished the room spray, I put water in there, um, and this is just gonna be my spray bottle. So I'm going to be using this to like spritz, spritz, spritz. Um, and then I'll just take the gel and kind of revamp them. And these are the two products that I'm using, just water, just gel. And then after, um, I might kind of refresh in it, add some mousse, add some oil within the traces, but yeah. So let's get started. Oh, um, so my last video, I was looking kind of like not put together. And honestly, that's how I mostly look most of the time, not put together. But today, I decided to put a little makeup on. So what do you think? I like it. Um, you can't really see um, that well in the camera, but I have like a pinkish hue of eyeshadow. Yeah, and then I put a light tap of uh, pink or fuchsia, fuchsia, fuchsia lipstick. So yeah, that's my look. Um, I dabbed a little foundation, and if you see me looking over here, that's because I have a mirror right here. Um, I'm going to be using the mirror to um, do my braids. So yeah, so I did my eyebrows. I'm not the best at eyebrows, but I mean, it's done. <laughs> Let's begin. So again guys, I already have done these braids, these four I think, so, oh I did this one too. So again, I'm just refreshing, so let me just show you what I do. As you may know, or if you don't know, just a little history or a little information. Um, black people don't wash their hair every day. I mean, who knows, there probably is some black people who wash their hair every day, but uh, most of us do not. Um, and that's because our hair um, doesn't get as oily as other people. Um, I don't really know the science behind all this, but yeah. Okay, so this is my hair. Uh, I have 4C hair, as you can see, it's very poofy. Um, Tightly coiled. If I stretch it out and pull it, let's see how long. Well, the front is kind of short, but I mean, it's not that short. So, this is my hair, guys. If anyone's wondering, this is where 
my hair ends in the front and I guess the back. I feel like my hair actually comes up. I ordered um, this crochet hair, Marley hair, it's called Marley hair. I ordered it off of Amazon and it came with a pack of six. And literally for all my whole head, um, for my whole head I only use two and a half packs. So I have packs left. Um, honestly I'm going to leave these braids in for another two weeks. So it's going to be a complete month that I had these braids in and again, my students, they be trying to come at me, and it's mean. It's up to me to educate them. Honestly, I've been feeling kind of salty because they be trying to play me and stuff. But whatever. <laughs> okay, so take your hair, take your weave, you know, right? And then you take your hair. So I'm gonna be looking more in the mirror. So just take your hair and kind of like press it down here, and then what I do, I wrap it like this, wrap it like that, and then. Oh wait, I grab my hair, wrap the weave around, and I usually start my braids by braiding it in three strand twists. Three strand twists. So basically, make three braids first, and then maybe like braid it in three, maybe two, let's see, that's two times, three times, four times, and five times, it'll be five times. And then... I start twisting it. So, oh, it's getting a little tangled in my hair. So let's try that. Oh, okay, wait. <laughs> Bloopers. Okay, so now it's separated. I have two pieces now. I had three pieces, now I have two. And this hair is kind of tangled. Is it tangled in my hair? Okay. Oh. Wait. Okay. Yeah, it's good. All right. So now what I'll do, I'll take, oh, I have hair on my hands. Uh, it's attached to the face. Um, let me take that hair off. Uh, yeah, okay. So I, I took the gel, I took the gel, and then now I'm just going to like put it on my hair and start twisting. So gel, hair, twist. Gel, hair, twist. So you see, I am twisting by curling my finger around the braids, right? Curling my finger around the braids, and I'm just gonna twist, 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 twist. All right, guys, so while I am twisting my hair, let's talk a little bit about Korea and black hair. When I got accepted into the EPIC program, I was so excited, I was so excited that I was able to be in my preference city of Daejeon. Um, but, you know, um, when black people travel, we got to think about a lot of things. We'd be typing up black hair care in South Korea or insert whatever country that you want to insert in. And um, I knew that I wanted to be in Daejeon. I knew that I got into Daejeon. So um, I was looking up like, is there any hair salons that I can go to um, so I can get my hair done? But I feel like most of the black hair salons um, were in Seoul, which is the capital. And from Daejeon to Seoul, I believe it's about 50 minutes um, with the KTX. Um, the KTX is the train, um, is that called? Yeah, the train. I get confused with train and subway, but subway is underground, train is above ground, maybe sometimes underground too, I don't know. But the KTX um, is, like one of the major train lines um, in South Korea and it actually goes across the whole country from Seoul all the way to Busan and um, I've been here for maybe about six no five months 
But I think I've been here for five months and um, I haven't taken the KTX not one time, not once, okay? Um, mostly because of Corona. Um, I'm kind of like, I'm not afraid to take public transportation because honestly I take public transportation all the time, um, especially buses. I probably take a bus maybe, maybe twice a week, mostly on the weekends because um, for, uh, from my house to my school, I walk, um, so there's no need to take the bus. Oh, so there it is. I finished one braid and I was talking. Okay, let's do, let's do another one. Okay, yeah, so throughout the week, I walk to and from school. Um, but on the weekends, I like to visit my friends, um, either downtown um, or in some other like neighborhoods. Um, so I had to take the bus because, um, you know, back in L.A., I was bougie. And I took Ubers a lot, but you know, in South Korea, there's no Ubers. There are taxis, and I've taken a taxi maybe four times or five times here, but the bus is so convenient, it's super cheap. Um, I have a tap card, um, a metro card, I don't really know how they call the cards here in Korea, um, but I have a bus card, so I mostly just, you know, um, tap my card and go. Um, so this is the second braid, by the way. Okay, so what was I talking about? Transportation. Yeah, so Seoul. <laughs> yeah, so um, Daejeon and Seoul is 50 minutes away. And there are black hair salons in Seoul. Um, I heard that in Itaewon, there's even like um, black hair care um, shops that you can buy your extensions or whatever um, in the little area of Itaewon um, but I haven't been to Itaewon it's not really safe to travel throughout the country right now um, I'm also being encouraged by my school to not move about the country not move about the cabin you know because of the situation um, of corona which I understand so honestly I haven't really been able to explore outside of Daejeon but like I said in my previous video, I do really love Daejeon and I've been trying to explore my city. So, oh, I forgot to put water. Let's do that. Okay, so, um, yeah. So, when I was researching, um, I knew that it was going to be kind of difficult for black hair care in South Korea. But, um... I knew I had to do what I had to do and it was either braids it was either crochet hair you know or it was either like I don't know getting a wig so I decided to get a wig and I'm going to insert some photos of me and my wig right here right now take a look Okay guys, so yeah, when I first arrived to South Korea, I mostly wore a wig. Actually, I wore the wig with the bang for maybe four months, okay? Yes, four months. And my wig was all human hair, 100% human hair. I was able to wash it. So don't be trying to say, ew, she wore her wig for four months. No, girl, I washed my wig, I blow dried my wig, I straightened my wig, and my wig was on fleek, okay? Mm -hmm. So, um, <laughs> so basically, yeah, I wore a wig for four months. Um, and, you know, I would try to take care of my hair underneath. I would braid my hair, um, try to put some um, aloe vera, some oils and stuff like that, you know, trying to make it, you know, healthy because I'm trying to grow my hair like if I'm gonna cover my hair with a wig for four months like I can't be neglecting my hair like the point of me wearing the wig in the first place is to protect my hair so I had to take care of my hair underneath so after four months I was really getting tired of the bang look so I ordered the Marley hair from Amazon again I have six packs of Marley hair I ordered it off of Amazon and then I installed it which is what we See right here um so now this week let me just what that this week i um ordered two new wigs 
two new wigs and they're so cute. So one of them it is a curly kind of Brazilian deep wave. It's 12 inch up to my shoulders and this going this is like no. This wig is a full lace wig and I never had a lace wig before. My uh, my bang wig before that I came to Korea with, it wasn't lace because it had bangs like Obviously, with the bangs, you don't really have to worry about trying to hide lace and stuff. It was just a wig, you know, a human hair wig with no lace. But the two wigs that I ordered are definitely lace wigs, and I don't know how to install. Well, I know how to install it because I watched a whole bunch of YouTube videos, and I'm probably going to watch them again once I get the hair because I'm going to be scared to cut the lace and stuff. But, um, yeah. So, that's what I'm going to do, and I know... I know when I finally take these braids out and rock my curly wig. Oh, people are going to be confused. Mm. Yes, my students are going to be asking all these questions. Like, they're going to be like, teacher, what happened? Your hair is different. So, I can't be mad at the kid, you know. I'm just going to have to explain, like, listen, y'all, black people, we magic, okay? We just be switching things up a bit. So, you know, <laughs> um, yeah, I've been playing with this one hair for too long. Let's put some more gel in this. So, yeah, um, so basically, um, while I'm in Korea, I want, like, four styles. I had my wig, my bang wig. Now I had these braids. I'm going to have my curly wig, and then I also ordered an ombre bob. And honestly, I'm dark-skinned, and I don't know how ombre is going to look on me. But I'm excited to try it out. I hope it looks cute. Um, but yeah. So yeah, in Korea, different reactions that... Um, so in Korea, I had different reactions to my hair. Um, most of the time, people are super, like, interested. They're like, oh, cool. Like, I remember once I wore my natural hair out to school. Like, it was blow-dried. I twisted it, and then I wore it out in an afro. And everyone's like, wow, oh my gosh, your hair is beautiful. And I was like, yeah you know um and then the next day I had my wig back on so everyone was confused <laughs> um so yeah I mean honestly the reactions I get are positive like when I first put these braids in all my students were like wow wow teacher oh my gosh and everyone even the uh, even my co-teachers everyone was like super like wow that's a cool style um until I wore again the next week and everyone's like she still got some braids. Honestly, they didn't say that, but I'm assuming that they're saying that. So honestly, I feel like it's all mental, basically. So yeah, that was basically all I wanted to say. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm black and I'm proud. What? <laughs> so um, basically, yeah. So hair care in South Korea. Uh, I mean, honestly, I haven't had any experience going to any hair salons or I haven't even found a hair store here um, for like your essentials like gel and um, mousse I think you can find it honestly I, I haven't been looking for those things at all here because I either just order them online or I already have plenty of products that I bought over here from America so yeah I mean again right now my hair is in braids I hope that you were able to see how I did my hair um, this whole video I only got two braids done so uh, not as successful as I thought but I have all day to finish my hair um, so yes I hope you liked the video that is all for today I know this video has been quite long um, but I hope you enjoyed my input my two cents um, you can follow me on Instagram at BJ Thomas underscore BJ Thomas underscore yeah and um, yeah so I do want to make other videos for you guys I know that I had some comments um, that you wanted to see me kind of going around town and going to coffee shops and all that and I would love to do that um, however the cases of uh, coronavirus in Daejeon are slowly rising we actually have been doing pretty well um, up until like last week, I think um, we had a little spike. So I'm trying to lay low for now, but hopefully soon I can um, show you around uh, the city a little bit more. Um, so yeah, again, uh, I hope you like this video. Please subscribe, please like, please share, 
and leave a comment and I hope to see you next time. Bye!